Okay, I've been talking for five minutes and I just realized I forgot to turn on the uh, camera. <laughs> Uncle Tom's getting old. Okay, folks, this is for the folks in the Navy. I know you're having a tough time. If you can, gather a lot of more rations, a lot of uh, bottled water, not in the little drinking, I mean, full-size canteen or um, blue bottle. Because right now, that I heard from my friends, I can't tell them who or what department, but they're running amok. Okay, because Captain Crazy and his crew have diverted a lot of resources from certain areas in the Pacific, including Alaska, Oregon, Washington, Hawaii, Okinawa, Guam, and it's get every, making everybody nervous. Seriously. They haven't seen a drop like this in over 40 years. This is serious, folks. Okay, now, right now, in the Pacific, in the Pacific, China is going hog wild and nobody's stopping them. Even Canada went to New Zealand. Canada has a really small navy, and why in the hell they're doing it in New Zealand? I have no idea. They were supposed to stop a certain smuggling operation, and the warship out of Vancouver Island disappeared. And now 40 ships showed up on the shore of British Columbia, Vancouver. And through my sources, they dumped a lot of heroin and fentanyl. Now, you won't get any good answer from the local constabulary or police. And the Royal Mounties are fed up. They're no more royal, but the other Mounties. And they're looking at them like, what the hell's wrong with you people? Because corruption's all over British Columbia. It's in the banks, it's in the casinos, it's in the real estate. Follow the money, folks. And I feel sorry for my friend Howie up there. You're surrounded. Yeah, I would dig a trench and get in a ghillie suit. Hide there, too. Okay, now. I did find my book, <laughs> by Jerry Ahern. Okay. Now, a lot of you guys in the Navy and Air Force, I have friends still in the Air Force, they're also scrambling too because they got to cover the Navy's butt. And they said this is a mass withdrawal or retreat. Well, I can't say it publicly, but Captain Crazy is setting up either Alaska, Hawaii, Guam, or Okinawa for full-scale evasion because all their supply ships detoured to the Atlantic. What the hell is that doing in the Atlantic? Okay, I don't understand that. Okay, also a lot of the Pacific bases are running low. Okay, I just made express mail overseas a package to my friend and he's like worried as hell. Because he worried that Okinawa might get invaded. And, you know, that looks really bad when I have to send a care pa package overseas to my friend to make sure he's all right. Okay. Now, myself, I don't monger fear porn. Nope. This is what I heard. So do your own investigation. Why is the Navy and the Air Force scrambling for supplies? Why are they getting repositioned to different areas of the world, away from the prime points, like Alaska, Oregon, Washington? Okay, it ain't for the weather. Also Hawaii, Guam, Okinawa. All right, and I'm looking at like, so you put one destroyer out there and we call everything else back. That's called a retreat and the guy in the ship that's sent over there, they're a duck. Now, this is my mummy bag. Okay, this is regularly about $115. And you can take a look at that. 
zero to five degrees centigrade. I mean, uh, five to zero to five Fahrenheit. Sorry. All right. That was one of my things I've been looking for to put into my supplies. I still got to get my tarp and my bibby bag to fit over this. And a lot of people are like, why you don't need a tarp, Uncle Al. Uncle Al's old and he knows what he's doing. The bibby bag, if you don't get a good one, is a piece of junk. So the tarp's back up. Plus, I like a four inch pad, foam pad for my back. Because Uncle Al's old. Okay? This all goes into a used pilot's bag. And that's my winter sleeping kit. I ain't kidding around. If I have to use the bibby sack, I'll use the tarp for a shelter. Keep me off the wind. Because a lot of people don't realize you die from wind exposure. Your body chills too quick. Uncle Al knows different tricks to survive in cold weather. Okay, a lot of you are complaining, why is Uncle Alan buying winter gear now? Because it's cheaper and nobody's asking for it. Right now I'm trying to get two kerosene heaters. Okay, a lot of you in Texas should get one. And also a generator. Because if I'm right, where I'm reading for long range position, it's going to be still hot in the west, a little bit on the east coast. But starting Thursday, right smack down the mid midwest and um, uh, what you call strength those states the slice american half it's going to be cooler and what did i write down oh yeah because it's too it's like dividing a sandwich one side hot the other side hot and you have cool in the middle what that means is hail tornadoes wind storms you would not believe Heavy rain, so you got a boat, row a boat, because you might get flooded. And right now, a lot of my friends are bet betting Georgia. Why aren't the Frank and Tina and the kids? Oh, they're floating away with their house. Well, I hope the chickens are all right. And you get a chance to watch Frank and Tina. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, get your winter gear now, especially Texas. Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. You're in a heat wave, but if I'm right, 2021 to 2022 is going to be like hell. You're going to have mild weather until it reaches a point and then all, all hell breaks loose. This goes all the way down to El Paso to the border. This might even go to Mexico. So I do warn people, you better get your winter gear ready. That's for Texas. If you don't believe Uncle Al, fine. This would be winter Texas apocalypse too. And you're going to lose about a trillion dollars. Because nobody ever listens to Uncle Al. And I'll catch you later, folks. We got some more stuff, more interesting stuff to talk about.